Guys, long story short, somebody messed with my lean-to. It's now down. Um, all the wood that was right there, leaning up against the branch, is now over there. I've cleaned it up. Some neighborhood kids messed with it. Um, and it just comes down to respect. If you didn't build it, then don't mess with it. So that's all I really have to say about that. And if you want me to build a new kind of shelter system, just drop a comment in the comments box, box down there. Tell me what you'd want me to build. It could be a debris shelter, um, another lean-to maybe if it was a, a variation, a TP type thing, a wrap around a tree, anything like that. So now to what this video is for. I'm going to do a little review on my sterno stove. And I've got some notes here for you guys. So, I've already folded my stove. And what it is... Very simple. Whatever you're cooking goes on top here. Sterno can goes right in here like that. Pop the lid off and uh, you're ready to cook or boil water or anything like that. So, first talking about the canister. This is really good because not only does it keep everything organized, but it's a gel with a lid and it's all non-toxic there's no liquid so you're not going to spill anything even if you take the top off and go like this it's a gel so it'll stay in there and just light it it'll turn right on um, it's ethanol so it's not going to burn uh, harsh fumes into the environment it's safe it's clean non-explosive and it's very efficient it's good at cooking uh, boiling water anything like that um, one downside I found about sterno is that it's it, it kind of it kind of bugs your eyes a little bit it's an eye irritant so if you get too close while it's like heating something up the some of the vapors that come off while they are non-toxic they can kind of irritate your eyes a little bit so just stay back watch and then when you're ready to eat pull your thing off and pop the lid right back on another thing is it's refillable so you can just go get more gel to put right in it and each one lasts, if you were to burn it uh, like on end consistently, it would last for about five hours. Just one little can. Um, next. The folding stove is very durable. It's made out of some aluminum, some steel bars up here. Nothing will bend very easily unless you're like trying to pry it against something. Um, it's very inexpensive. I got mine with a deal. I got a couple cans of Sterno, some candles, and this all for about 12 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. It's cheap and it'll cook your food and boil your water really well. Um, so what I want to do for you guys is I was going to light this up and then try to um, get a small thing of water, maybe 8 ounces, see how long it takes to boil that. So I'll get this set up and bring you back when I start boiling. Alright guys, so I literally just started up the sterno, poured the water in my bowl here, my pan, and it's starting to heat up. So, I started this at approximately 11.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will tell you guys what time it is and bring you back when this eight ounces of water is boiling. So it's boiling and it is now exactly 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that means it took 26 minutes, which isn't very good, but if you're out on a summer day hike and you've got the time and you don't wanna, or you can't start a fire, then this is a really good alternative. You can see there's some dirt in there that probably flew in. Um, and now it's simmering down because I put the can on the, I put the lid on the gel so it'll stop. And then I also started a fire over here exactly 10 minutes ago, or 15 minutes ago at 11.15, about 10 minutes after the sterno started. And so I'm going to wait for this to simmer down and then see where it can be um, 
actually use to boil water. So I'm going to let this sit down. And what I normally need for if I'm going to cook on, I need a good solid base. And then I just want it to still be alive though. I still want some flames. So in about five minutes, this would probably be ready, which would give us 20 minutes. So it's five point advantage, disadvantage to the fire over the sterno. So another thing about the sterno is is that it's not the best. If you if you really want to get a fire going or boil some water or get some food, I would definitely go for a fire. But if you're not able to or in you're in a state park that doesn't allow fire, it's a really good alternative because it'll boil stuff quickly and then if you have a lid which I forgot to put on. You can put that on and it'll go even faster. But since it's exactly 27 degrees out right now and I had no lid on, I think 26 minutes is pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to comment below if you would like to see me build another kind of shelter system such as a debris, TP around a tree, anything like that. So let me know. Thanks guys.